A plan to save $41 million at Connecticut State Colleges and Universities is not sitting well with faculty at Central Connecticut State University. CCSU staff voted no confidence against system leadership by a 4-1 to one margin today. They claim the cost-cutting plan is inadequate and lacking detail. News 8's Bob Wilson has a story from New Britain. The meeting lasted about two hours, and in that time you could hear cheering and applause. You could also hear spirited debate. And in the end, they voted 39 to 10, a vote of no confidence in the Board of Regents. It clearly expresses our dissatisfaction with seven years of the Board of Regents and failed plans one after the other to reorganize at the expense of faculty, staff, and ultimately to the detriment of students. The revenue for the university system in Connecticut is shrinking. Enrollment monies are down as well as state funding. Central Connecticut State University alone is facing a $6 million shortfall this budget year. So the Board of Regents is saving $41 million by consolidating backroom functions. The consolidation that, that is being proposed right now does not impact students, does not impact faculty purposely because we need to focus on our core mission of teaching and learning and preserving that. While faculty voted no confidence, they also voted overwhelmingly for a seat at the table. They want to be part of the process. There needs to be a more democratic process, but I think it's a little early to give away one of the strongest ways we can take a stand, right. which is to vote no confidence. But I understand both points of view. The faculty say the bottom line is, how is it going to affect the classroom and their ability to teach the students? That's what it all comes down to. They say the fact that the governor's given notice and won't be here in 18 months, the process that's going on now and what could happen under new leadership, he said a lot of damage can be done in that 18 months that could be irreversible. The whole game could change in 18 months. I had some real questions trying to put something through of this magnitude in that short a period of time without the right public comment and interaction that's needed on something this big. This affects every taxpayer in the state. I actually feel more optimistic, I think, than most of my colleagues. I, I think that sometimes they'll make extreme statements to get us to the table because the bottom line is the economy right now in Connecticut is bad. Now, while CCSU is one of the first faculty unions to cast a vote of no confidence, they expect other of the community colleges will cast a vote as well. They expect Manchester Community College to be the next one. We're in the Hartford Newsroom. Bob Wilson, News 8.